These are the offices of Zwift HQ in London and I'm here for a very special reason. A few months ago in the US, Wahoo launched their game-changing smart treadmill, the Wahoo Kicker Run, and we all got very excited until we realized that unfortunately it would be a long wait before we had one here in the UK. But I'm happy to say there are now, six months later, two in the UK, one at the Wahoo offices and one right here in London, and I've come up to test it out. Let's get cracking. I'm, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, except it's a sweet shop with just one massive sweet. So let's get our teeth into it. Before we start running, let's just do a couple of the quick specs on this machine. Uh, it has a top speed of 24 kilometers per hour. That's about two minutes 30 per kilometer. So, you know, people like me, we've got no worries about the top speed here. Uh, maximum user weight of around 250 pounds, although they do say that's a conservative estimate. You could probably be heavier and run on this treadmill with no issues. Incline, so we go up to 15% grade and then you can have a decline of minus three percent. There's also a left and right tilt uh, on the Wahoo Kicker Run, left to right about one and a half percent or so. The running base, the running surface area is 175 centimeters by 56 centimeters. Plenty room to run and you can see I'm, I'm you know, average build, average height I suppose. Uh, I've got plenty of room, I'm not going to fall off the back. Uh, the surface, gosh, it really feels, just walking on it, it really feels like it's got a little bit of give, but not too much give. So much like running on, on tarmac, but not concrete, on hard packed trails, uh, but not as soft as grass, for example. Just looking at the front of the treadmill, uh, we have two cup holders here. Uh, of course, we've got the emergency stop cord there. Uh, the paddles here for incline and for speed. Uh, we do have our laptop holder, Inside here also is a, a holder for an iPad or a tablet of some kind. Uh, so you can also put your tablet on there. It is a pretty steady, sturdy uh, frame there. So it's not gonna fall off. Uh, but like I say, it might wobble around a little bit. You've got the emergency stop button in the middle here. Uh, you've got incline control and you've got your pace here. And it is pace uh, on this treadmill. I don't know if in the app, whether you can set it to uh, kilometers per hour or miles per hour. You can, you can change between metric and imperial, but whether you can change between kilometers per hour, speed or pace, I'm not sure. Uh, and then you've got your run free button, of course, there. And when you press that, you'll get this little road icon appearing next to the speed or the pace indicator here. These buttons here currently are not used, but in the future they may well be used for in-game control in, in a third-party app like Zwift, or um, they can also be used left and right for the incline left and right. There are independent risers on the left and the right, and they will work in conjunction with the incline up and down to create more of a road feel. So when you're going around a bend, it will tilt to a maximum of one and a half percent left or right. Now, while we're on the subject of tilting, we need to talk about incline. Pushing or pulling the paddle here on the left will alter the incline up or down as you would expect with any treadmill. But the difference here, and something we've been wanting on Zwift for a long, long time, is the ability to have auto incline control. And that is exactly what we have here with the Wahoo Kicker Run. Now you might think working with Zwift to enable auto incline is the major USP of this product, but in all honesty, it is merely a sideshow. So like any treadmill, I can alter the speed manually, much like the Techno Gymiron by shifting this paddle here. But the killer feature about the Wahoo Kicker Run is that not only do we have auto incline control, but we have this free run mode, which is essentially hands-free operation of the treadmill. So I can click this button here, which says run free. And at that point, the nearer I get to the front of the treadmill, this sensor here picks up my proximity and adjust the speed of the treadmill. It makes me go faster. If I move away, the 
proximity sensor slows the treadmill down and you have to be you have to get used to it because it's it's stopped me <laughs> here we go look so get a bit closer and it'll start speeding up now we need to slowly move away so it slows down but to the point where we can keep running so just backing off a bit more but not too much you do have to get used to it. it's very sensitive you only have to move a little way before it really slows down and this treadmill stops faster than any treadmill I have ever had before watch this <laughs> and so I continued playing with auto incline and the run free mode so the run free button on here will not activate until you're going faster than uh, 12 minutes per kilometer so you need to knock the paddle up to make sure that you're at the right speed and then you can activate the free run or run free button and as we run I don't know if you can hear how regularly the incline is changing automatically imagine doing that manually there are some people who like to do manual incline when they're running on Zwift I couldn't stomach it myself constantly moving the paddle up and down to match the incline in the game but it is amazing when it does it automatically add to that this ability to just slow down when you want to by just moving to the back of the to the back of the belt and then moving forward to speed up really is a game changer it's amazing I keep saying this but it does it does take some getting used to you have to be very gentle about how far back you go or you just come to a stop what we're on here if you are finding the video useful interesting enjoyable entertaining ridiculous then please do consider subscribing to the film my run channel and uh, click the thumbs up button and uh, share this video with your friends especially those interested in buying a smart treadmill now of course if I want to I can just press the run free mode and take it out and just use it manually again so if I'm getting a bit tired climbing this hill which let's face it I am we can just use the manual paddle here to bring the incline down a bit once you've pushed this paddle so you do manual incline control you then if you want it to do auto again you will have to go into settings or go into the menu here and just change it back to auto incline control so as you go up an incline the belt does slow down a bit to accommodate for that regardless of where you are on the belt and here we go over the edge and we will get our three percent decline now <laughs> and that is like running much more than three percent downhill that is awesome and let's just back off a little once I'd climbed the hill and got over the crest I dispensed with auto incline and concentrated on running a little faster the more I ran the more comfortable I felt using run free mode you kind of just need to forget about it and run normally it's when you consciously think about slowing down and speeding up that it feels weird if you just run it works like a dream it's so responsive the moment you inject any pace the belt matches you and there's no doubt it's tricky at first but boy when you get it you totally get it but this is the most awesome thing about the Wahoo kicker run moving towards the front of the treadmill in run free mode you can speed up really fast <laughs> and then just move back a bit and it slows down just coming to the end of my time on the wahoo kicker run here i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, i hope you've learned something about this awesome game-changing treadmill which hopefully will hit our streets in the next 12 months or so scheduled for release in the UK in 2025 price is not determined yet but US pricing is around $5,000 so it's going to be around there 
Unfortunately, if you are looking forward to getting Auto Incline on Zwift, you will have to buy a Wahoo Kicker Run because it won't be available to anyone else. And if you do buy a Wahoo Kicker Run, you will need to pay a Zwift subscription. Up until now, Zwift running has been completely free, but if you have a Wahoo Kicker Run, you will need to pay a subscription in order to get that Auto Incline feature. If you're in the market for a smart treadmill and you can't quite reach the heights of the Wahoo Kicker Run, check out my review of the Noble Pro AI just here. It's a really popular smart treadmill for use on Zwift and there's a discount code in the description below. Thanks to Zwift and Wahoo for inviting me. Thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the start line next time.